we are rolling and we got a new package in from Japan. Um, I kind of have an audience um, over here so while I'm viewing or making this video. So yeah, say hi. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, so basically I kind of have an audience member tonight. Um, so yeah, this package contains over 30 pounds of Pokemon items in which I will be opening for you all tonight and unboxing. So yeah, let's begin. Okay, so as you all can see, it is a very large box. In fact, this is my leg. I don't know if y'all can see. Can they see? So that's my leg and I am 5'3". So yes, and also enjoy my Pokemon Eevee pajamas. <laughs> it is nighttime. the ship. Oh. <laughs> Darling dearest. Oh my gosh. Okay. So. There's a lot of stuff I forgot I got. <laughs> I spent a little bit too much. <laughs> like, do you want to go and see what this is? Oh my goodness. Look. Oh. <laughs> I, can't, I didn't think he was going to be that big. Okay, so we'll see. I know. So, oh shoot, how do they package these? Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of pull stuff out. Hopefully they don't go everywhere. So these are kid figures again, which I know y'all are probably bored of those. I've been, I didn't think he was this big. Can they see him or no? No. So he's pretty big guys. So we'll get to that in a second. Then, oh gosh. another box, and they always send me the Pokemon Center boxes because they're super cute. And then, oh gosh, I don't want to get my face in it. <laughs> so, can they see me or no? No. Okay. So, and then next is another box. So, quite a few boxes. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna pause the video real quick and then I'm gonna move this box and then we'll go through everything individually. Okay, so going back to this, um, I'm gonna switch over here. Then we'll begin doing this. Sorry for my shadow. Okay, you are in charge of making sure of everything, but that's okay with you. Go ahead. So we're gonna open our first Pokemon box. Oh wait, I do know what this is. Okay. Okay. Nope, I do remember. So here we go. We got some interesting things with this one. Oops. Is it still sunny? Okay, so just to begin, we did get the Galarian Ponytop Beach Towel. Right here. Oops, sorry guys. Alright. And I will be opening this, but basically on the back, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna set that off there. Um, I'm not even sure what this is. Oh, I do know what these are. Okay. All right. So as you can see, this is another package. This I won off of Yahoo Japan auctions. Do you remember what it is? <laughs> um. I don't look at. It. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So these are the Gengar Popsicle Mold Makers, and I got them for a good price. And then this I'm not going to unbox just yet, but this is kind of a silly thing, but it's um, from what I've been told. Oh, I didn't know I had it. Yeah, I'm learning so much. So basically, I guess it helps kids with their time tables, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, how so have to figure that out and I'll open that a little bit later and then these <laughs> these are all the Pokemon Center blind Pokeballs and I'll open those individually in another video for y'all 
So yeah. And now we're gonna go over to the next box. So can you hand me the other box, please? Thank you. Oh my goodness, this one's heavier, which means it has all of the stuff in it. Uh, okay, sorry guys, I keep moving the camera. Oh, are you okay? I just <laughs> yeah. stabbed you. I'm sorry. Are you okay? No, for real. I'm fine. Be careful with scissors. <laughs> are you sure? Yes, You're not bleeding, I'm, are you? I'm not bleeding. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> bad. Next up, I don't know how I'm going to. Okay, one second. There we go. Oh, no, we'll do it this way. Okay. There we go. Alrighty, so next up on our adventure, this is the Pokemon Center Galarian Ponyta and Ponyta. I can't remember what the campaign was called, but it was basically Mochi Mochi plushies. So this is the keychain one. And then here's the other Ponyta keychain. And then here is a, <laughs> don't judge me, a Nintendo Lite Switch um, case of Galarian Ponyta, but I don't have a Nintendo Lite Switch. <laughs> so, yeah, I kind of just bought it in case I ever do own one. And then this, oh, okay, this is not from the Pokemon Center. This is older stuff. Ooh, it's heavier than what I thought. Oh, okay, it's actually metal. Okay. This kind of also added weight, I can tell, to our stuff. Goodness. Come on. You can do it. Alright, so this is kind of a unique little thing that I won off of Yahoo Japan auctions for super cheap, but then I realized I could have gotten a brand new one for the same amount, so kind of didn't, you know, look too hard. I just kind of bitted, which I'm bad about. I gotta, I gotta calm down on the auctions. So this is a Pokemon, I don't know how to film that right there. It's so heavy. It's a Pokemon Taiyaki maker. Or at least it's like a pancake maker. And it is metal. So if you open it, you pour your batter in there and you can fill it with pretty much whatever. I personally like red bean. So yeah, that is also a nifty little thing that I got. I have to do a Pokemon cooking thing. Another thing I won for like, I think $3, I can't remember, is this Lapras towel. And as you all know, I absolutely love Lapras. She is my beautiful sea baby. Yeah. Got Lapras. Um, that actually, I don't know what all these little things are. This, I know what it is. So this is from a while ago. Oh, I can actually hear it. I feel like I keep moving the camera on accident. Oh, is it not open? Oh, now it's open. Nope, it's open. I thought it was. So this, I actually bought because I thought it was super cute. As long as I don't break it. It is a Chimeco uh, wind chime. So yeah, I think if I ever own a house in the future, I'm going to put this outside and let the wind blow it. As long as I have something underneath it in case it falls down. <laughs> I hate for it to bust. And the box art is actually really, really pretty. There's Chimeco. All the Japanese. And then it does say that they had multiple versions, a Pikachu one, the smiling one, and then the normal one. So I got the smiling Chimeco. Super cute. I put that insert so oh there it is so another wonderful thing that I'm going to open up because I'm super excited about I was honestly I can't even explain how excited I was for these plushies because one of my favorite um, Pokemon is Ponyta since I was a little girl I absolutely love Ponyta and this is like a dream come true that she actually has 
and plushie that's bigger than the fit plush and the Pokemon Time plush. Ah, she's so cute! Look at her! I love her, and then look at her tag! It's so pretty! <laughs> I love her so much! And she's so soft, super, super squishy, like... She is definitely mochi mochi, and I love her. Oh my gosh, I wish I would have ordered more <laughs> so that I could cuddle with her. Alrighty, and then our next one, you guys already can tell, is our beautiful Galarian Ponyda. She is also mochi mochi. Oh, her tail's so sweet. Her name is Cotton Candy. I know, so, so basic. <laughs> And then here she is, her tag. Look, she's smiling. Ah, I love her. Oh, she's so squishy. Like, you wanna feel? Oh, that is really Isn't soft. it squishy? It's super soft. So yeah, so there's that. What is this? What did I buy? Oh, this is your thing that I bought for you. So. I need to stop being on Yahoo Japan auctions. I spend way too much money. <laughs> but that's how we get really good videos. With unique items. Do you know what this is? Hopefully it didn't break. Oh! No! Something broke. Oh, the palm tree broke! They didn't package it fully. Oh, I'll have to glue it. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is the first time ever I got something that's broke from Zen Market. It's ceramic though, and it didn't have a box, so it is what it is. But basically what this is, is it is a, um, what are those things called? A box, but not a box. Yeah, you're gonna have to hold on to that, because... Like super light. See? It's like super light, but basically what it is is it's a music box with Poliwag and, or Poliwhirl and Squirtle and then a little Starby. It's super soft. Maybe if I can set it down. Nope, it's just super light. But that's unfortunate that it's broken, but I'll figure out how to fix it. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> What's two things? Oh no! Two things! Oh. Well, that's sad. Maybe I can find the other piece somewhere. Well, you know, you win some, you lose some, but that's okay. I'll figure well, out. At how least to the fix Pokemon it. are still intact. Yeah, the Pokemon are still intact, so. I can deal with the palm tree. It would have been more sad if it was, you know, Squirtle or Polly Whirl. Alright. So, our next thing is actually quite interesting. Um, so fun fact, I absolutely love to cook. I could get this on camera and stop, like, dragging it over to me, being so selfish. So it's kind of busted in the back, but that's to be expected as this is super, super old. But, at least I have the box insert. This is a Pokemon cutting board. Snorlax on it, Clefairy, Brock, Bulbasaur, and Pikachu. So you can actually cut stuff on this and use it to cook. So hopefully in the future I'll give you a kitchen tour because I have a lot of Pokemon stuff for the kitchen. So that's kind of cool. Sad that the box is torn, but that's to be expected with older things. Just checking for that last palm leaf. <laughs> so sad. And then, I have no idea what these are, so let's see. <laughs> this video's gonna be a very long video. It's okay, I mean, it's, I can always get another one, it's not that big of a deal. I can try to find another one. I'm sorry, that was for you. Okay. What is this? Oh, okay, I know what these are. Okay, I remember buying these. So, these... I can open it, will more than likely be for sale, oh wait, no, not this one, this is a 
these aren't the right things. <laughs> My bad, I got kind of confused. These are the DX Tommy, and this is a total dial figure. So, yep, he's super, super cute. Love him. He might be for sale, but I don't know. And then my next one, if I'm correct, it doesn't make noise. Will be a. <laughs> oh, it does make noise. It's like a squeaky toy. Should be a hot door. Let's see. Yeah, so it's the DX Tommy Hondor. Houndor, I don't know how you pronounce his name. Basically, it's Angry Fire Devil Doggo. So, yeah, that's him. And he's actually in really good condition, which surprised me. A few scuffs here and there, but overall beautiful. And then my next one should be the things I... Oh, no. I don't know what these are. Oh, and I lost my scissors. Thank you for finding my scissors. <laughs> Thank you for being here tonight. I appreciate it. I don't know what this is. What is this? Why is it so heavy? Oh! Okay, I think it's, yeah, it's two boxes. Okay, where are my scissors again? Okay, so give me one second. Is it one box? Or, no, it's definitely two boxes. Oh my gosh. I didn't think these things were gonna be this heavy. Luna strength. So these are more, I think, Takara Tommy figures or Monsell figures. I'm pretty sure they're Tommy. Not 100% sure, but we'll definitely go through those as well. And then these, I think, are the other thing. Or it might be in my next box. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Nope, they're more Tommy figures. Stuff like. Caratina and all that. So yeah, we'll definitely be selling some more of these off because I primarily only got them for certain ones again. So yeah, look out for a sales post. More than likely I'll post it on Instagram, uh, Pokemon Collectors Discord, and also Facebook. So yeah, there's those. Okay, and then just for some fun, um, can you please do the honors of taking that bag and then can you go around this way? No, 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 no. We're gonna pour them in. <laughs> it's okay, I didn't explain it to you. My room is a mess with Pokemon. <laughs> all right, and then here you go, get ready. These are all the kid figures. <laughs> figures unboxing since I know y'all are probably tired of seeing them. Um, but yeah, so these are practically all going to be for sale more than likely. Ah, there he is! That's what I needed. <laughs> so, like I said, I tend to find my kid figures for better prices in bulk lot, and then what I do is basically just buy the lot up. Oh, Luke, you're so sad. <laughs> but buy the lot up, and then <clears throat> I will try my best to sell them to you all for as cheap as can be. Oh, that was Tracy. So yeah, so these will also be for sale um, because I have more kid figures than I know what to do with. So these ones look to be in good shape, so I'll range them from about $2 to $3 depending because basically the reason why I can't price them at a dollar is due to the fact that this box in general cost me over $250 to ship and then the lot alone I think cost me, I don't even remember, I'd have to check, but 2 to $3 is basically a reasonable standard so yep but that's what I say and that's how I price them and then oh I got another pink brother butterfree <laughs> I always seem to get these so yep so just depends I might have a sale one day to where they're one dollar but more than likely two dollars is what they'll range from depending on their condition and quality so yeah feel free to let me know if you're looking for any because I got plenty of them all right, and now we're going to move on into our grand finale for this box, and that'll take one moment. So give us one moment, one moment, please. 
Okay, so this is pretty much the thing that I was freaking out about earlier. It's a lot bigger than what I expected. Um, by like a huge margin. <laughs> so yeah. So we're gonna unbox, well, unbubble wrap him. Oh my gosh, he's so soft! Oh, I didn't think... See, I'm not a big fan of Pikachu, but something got me attracted to this large, chunky boy. I don't even know if y'all can see all of them. Oh my gosh, he's so soft! I'm like so scared I'm gonna damage him like this. Oh, oh my gosh, look at him, he's glorious, oh my gosh, I wish I could get this bubble wrap out of the way, okay, so, I don't know if you can all see him on the camera, you can, can you move it back a little bit so they can, can you see him, yep, okay, so this is a Tommy, I think, won one Pikachu, and he still has his tag, which honestly is kind of why I bought him, because you all know I love the Giants of Tommy, and I am a huge tag person when it comes to my Giants, so. Would I still buy a Giant without a tag? Absolutely, depending on the quality and the price, but oh my gosh, I love him. He's like up to my knee, he's so big. I'll stand up in a second just to show you guys, but oh my gosh. Oh, he's so heavy. I can tell why that package cost a decent amount. Look at his tail, and he's like so perfect and chunky. He's so beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna cry. He's so glorious. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, he's so perfect. I can't believe I have him. And he has a tag. Oh my gosh, let's look at his chunky little butt. There's his butt. Okay, I'm gonna stand up just to show you guys how tall he is. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm getting too old. <laughs> Alright, so this is probably like terrible because I'm gonna lose. So this is him, and like this is where my knee is. <laughs> Can they see that on video? So yeah, and like I said, I'm five foot three, so he's about a solid two feet. His, like, this is like my hip right there, so, no, you're fine. So he comes up a little bit past my knee with his ear, but directly at my knee, so. Oh my gosh, I love him, <laughs> he's so much. Okay guys, so basically, actually no, we got another part too that we gotta do. Oh my gosh, this is like such a long video, I gotta like, Actually take everything out of its package. So yeah, this video might actually go into a part two, but I'm not entirely sure, so we'll see. But that is like our grand mini finale. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed this video, and I'm gonna get the Tommy figures open, but I'm not going to review all of them in person yet, just because I'd rather make that a separate video for y'all. So thank you again for watching this <laughs> long unboxing and sticking with me. I promise you that a giveaway will be done soon. I've just been debating whether or not I should do a giveaway since not everybody's open in regards to postal restrictions and everything else because thanks COVID basically. Alright, so I hope you all enjoyed and yeah, if there might be a second part after this, but we shall see. So if not, have a good one and thank you for watching. Bye! Okay, hey everyone, it's me. Um, basically, I've decided that I'm going to do this part. So yeah, these are all the Tommy, I think they're Tommy figures, so I'm just going to dump them out and then go through them. So there's that one, and then I might need the scissors for this one. Okay, so I think these are actually newer figures, but I'm not entirely sure. Some of them look older, some of them look newer. So we do have a Palkia. Not in, oops, code focus. So we have a Palkia, not in the greatest condition. Oh my goodness, it's like not wanting to focus. So I might do a repaint on him. 
We have Licky Licky. Might not work. Got Licky Licky. I don't even know what these figures are. Piplup. This is an old Tommy Raichu for sure. Oh my goodness, and this is like another Mew. I think this is a Tommy Raichu. They have like a weird texture to them, so hopefully they're not bootleg, but I doubt they are. Again, I get all my stuff from Yahoo Japan auctions and I browse them way too much. <laughs> um, my, <laughs> yeah, no, you're just laughing. My guest here definitely agrees that I'm on Yahoo Japan auctions way too much. Oh, here's another Palkia. It has a better paint job, so I might make the other one a shiny. Whoop! If I could hold on to him. We got Pikachu. Ooh, we got Flygon. I love Flygon. We got Meganium. Again, I think these figures are older, so they're not in the best of shape, but I like just collecting them, so. Um, Empoleon. Mimey Jr. Another Pikachu. It's probably like, I'm not even going to go through all the Pikachus, but we've got another Pikachu. I'm just going to get rid of all the Pikachu because I get tired of looking at Pikachu. The only thing that matters is that big Pikachu that I got. I got a Shaman, and let's see. So yeah, it says 2002 Tommy, so. We got a. I can never remember. <laughs> If I could hold on to them, I can never remember what they are. And this one, I don't know what it is. It says it's Tommy, though, so I'm guessing these are all Tommy. I got another Argon. Munchlax, and since he's just laying over there, we got a Snorlax. We got... I think it's Reggie Gigas, I can't remember. Don't hate me, community. Another Mimey Jr. Um, let's see, uh, we got a Chimchar, Piplup, a Bonsai, a Crying Bonsai, Oh, it's so sad. It's like there's paint on these, so I don't know what's going on with that. Turtwig, I'm probably going to clean them up. Uh, Marsh, I can't remember, Marshomp. Yeah. I think that definitely they have some dirt and stuff on them, which that's easy to get off. I could do a cleaning video on how I get everything off, but I don't feel like y'all would be interested in that. Scorpy, another Mew. Uh, I think this is, oh, this is Badoo. My boy, if he focuses. Focus! There you go. Great job. Another one. Which ones have we not seen? We got a ton of Palkia. I'm not going to go through those. We got Ho-Oh. Main Boy. Zapdos. I love the legendary birds. Especially the trio. So I absolutely am adoring of birds. Oh, we got a Chatot! I like Chatot. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Uh, Superior, I think? Superior? Um, I know this isn't real. Lucario? There we go. A Celebi? A Turtwig again? Deoxys? I'm surprised we got a... This is a newer one. This is a Poplio. Trico. Salamance. Never remember his name. You guys have already seen Jirachi. We got another Lucario. <sighs> Parachute. Carvine. Not showing Pikachu. Go away. Piplup. Cantina. Charmander. With a screep on him. Blaziken. Minin, Articuno, Weavile, oops, come here, come here, Chikorita, Kyogre, 
and then Sky Farm Shaman. So those were all the Tommy figures that I got. There they are once again. Just going to kind of view in on the pile. It's more over here. So yep, these are all the ones. <laughs> Thank you, computer. So these are all the ones in which I got. Um, so yeah, probably going to be for sale because the ones that I wanted, I have gotten out of the slot already. So yep, thank you for viewing.